this little thing right here might just be the coolest and best upgrade for your Bamboo Lab A1 or A1 Mini 3D printer. Let's talk about the new Panda Nomi from Big Tree Tech. Now, full disclosure, Big Tree Tech did send this out to me uh, free of charge for you know testing and providing feedback. They have not seen this video before you guys have and have had no impact on the video whatsoever. These are just my 100% unbiased thoughts and experiences using the Panda Nomi. The Panda Nomi comes in two boxes, which surprised me at first as I thought they may have sent two by mistake. However, on closer inspection, I realized that the boxes were marked case only and screen only. To set up the Panda Nomi, you first need to unclip the back of the case and insert the screen. To make it easier to unclip the back of the case, Big Tree Tech have supplied some 3D printed files, including a tool for unclipping the back of the case. The other two files we'll touch on a bit later in the video. Once you have the screen installed in the case, it is time to start dismantling your A1 or A1 Mini 3D printer. Well, not completely. We're just removing the front panel of the extruder head and the little spinny thing, which I actually don't know the name of. We're then going to run the long power cable for the pandanomi through the gap in the top right of the extruder head and then feed it through the little hole in the front. Next, we connect the power cable to the pandanomi, then carefully click the new front panel into place. Now this is where the next two 3D printed files come in. The first file slips over the top of the filament hub and provides a guide slot for the power cable to sit in. The second file is a replacement for the cable organizer, giving you an extra slot for the Pandanomi's cable. There are also cable ties included for more cable management. Once we have the cable running through both the 3D printed parts, it is now time to connect the cable to the spare AMS hub port on the back of your A1. Now that the screen is connected, it is time to power on the A1. Once the Pandanomi screen turns on, you'll be prompted to scan the QR code to connect it to your Wi-Fi. Now, at the time of recording, this pre-release version does not have an active QR code, so I had to manually go to the Wi-Fi settings on my phone, connect to the Pandanomi, and configure it from there. The next step after connecting the Nomi to your Wi-Fi is to bind it to your printer. To do this, you need to head to the printer section, scan and select your printer, then input the access code found on your A1 and press bind. If you're not sure where the access code is on your A1, you can find it here. Now you have successfully set up your Panda Nomi and can start customizing it to your heart's content. By default, the Panda Nomi comes with a bunch of preloaded GIFs for every part of the printing process.
these can all be changed and customized with custom GIFs that you upload to the Nomi. Or if you like the current ones, you can change the colors of them to a color that you prefer. Now for custom GIFs, the resolution of the files can be no larger than 240 by 240 pixels. And the file size can be no larger than 1.5 megabytes each. There is also a max size limit for all the files on the Pandanomi of three megabytes. But that is plenty of space and all the GIFs I show in this video are all currently active on my Pandanomi and are all under three megabytes combined. Now, if you're not sure where to look to find custom GIFs, then I definitely recommend having a look at Giphy.com. It would be my number one recommendation for all custom GIFs. You can simply search a term or, you know, a show or anything, and it will then give you a bunch of different GIFs that you can then download. If you find that the GIFs are too large in size and you need to resize them to 240 pixels, then EasyGIF.com is a fantastic uh, GIF maker and reducer to do just that. Uh, you have options to optimize it, crop it, resize it, and even drop the amount of frames if it's too long to save some file space. Now, who is this product for? In my opinion, this product is for anyone who likes modding 3D printers or just wants a cute little screen to add some uniqueness to their own 3D printer. It's great for content creators like myself, as you can self promo by having your logo shown at all times during time lapses and videos. Overall, I think this is a cool little upgrade for the Bamboo Lab A1 and A1 Mini, and I definitely recommend it for anyone looking to jazz up their 3D printer. It's super easy to assemble and set up and comes in at an affordable price of $49.99 USD, which is about 78 AUD. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on the Pandanomi in the comments. Uh, if you're looking to pick one up for yourself, I'll have a link in the description down below so you can pick one up. Thanks again to Big Tree Tech for generously sending this out to me for testing. And as always, happy printing.